So I wanted to make this quick video to showcase a crazy bug that occurred in my Rust game engine project. I recently upgraded the Rust compiler version for this project to the latest nightly compiler, and that update completely broke my game engine. The game would crash and freeze, and to be clear, the bug was my fault. But the bug manifested itself in a form that was due to a compiler optimization. And so when I finally figured out what was wrong, um, I wanted to share this bug on YouTube because I just think it's a really cool window into sort of how compilers work and the sorts of crazy things that um, compilers get up to under the hood when they build your program. So what was going on? So I managed to track down all of the bugs to this function you see here on screen. So what this code you see is supposed to do, it's supposed to iterate over the eight octants of a region, which is just if you take a region and you subdivide it into eight cubes, of the same size, those eight cubes are the octants of the region. This code was basically just meant to iterate over them by using this octant counter variable, and the goal was to convert this octant counter variable into an octant value, where octant is an enum type that is defined on the range 0 through 7. So how did this function work? What it would do is it would first construct the octant value based upon the value in the octant counter. Then it would check if the octant counter was less than 8, because anything bigger than 8 would be invalid. And if the self.octant counter was smaller than 8, then it would return the octant it had created, otherwise the value would be discarded. What was going on was it seemed like this self.octant was less than 8 um, check was always returning true. And this was just completely insane. Like I put print lines here, I checked to see what it was doing, and the self.octant counter just kept going up um, beyond 8. And this function was always returning sum. And I was really confused by the time that I got to this point. I had no idea what was going wrong. I even compiled my code to WebAssembly, and I looked at like the assembly output. This function um, in the WebAssembly output was always returning true, so it wasn't just my imagination. For some reason, the compiler was making this function always return true. And at first, I thought it was a compiler bug. But as I looked closer, I came to realize that it was actually because part of this function that I've written here is unsound. Like I said before, this function converts the octant counter value to an octant enum value. And the Rust compiler knows that the octant enum is only defined for values on the range 0 through 7. It is invalid in Rust to even construct an invalid enum type. Even if you don't use the enum anywhere else, it's still invalid to just make it. And the problem here was I was unsafely constructing the octant value even when self.octant was greater than 8. So this self.octant less than 8 check was being optimized away. What was happening was the compiler was saying, okay, I see that he's constructing an octant from this integer value, and I know that octants are only allowed to have values between 0 and 7. So that must mean that self.octant is between 0 and 7. And from that logic, the compiler was then able to infer self.octant was less than 8, and so it optimized that out completely into just uh, being true all of the time. So the fix for this bug was to construct the octant value after the check had passed, and so switching to an if statement fixed the problem. So I just wanted to share this because I think it's a window into how advanced the Rust compiler can get, right? This only really scratches the surface of what kind of optimizations go on, but it shows that the Rust compiler and or LLVM, I, just, I suppose maybe it could have been the LLVM like backend optimizing this. It shows that the compiler is able to do all sorts of advanced inferences based upon the invariance that your code upholds or is supposed to uphold. And this is also a great example of why you should always follow the rules about um, Rust's safety and soundness. Even if something works sometimes, like it did, this, this worked on previous compiler versions, if Rust labels it as unsound, it is never a good idea. I hope you all enjoyed, thank you very much for watching, and leave a comment and a like on the video. Thanks.